Hello, everybody, and welcome to Let's Try. My name is Retromation. This is Shape Hero Factory, a mix between an automation game and a tower defense roguelike that I'm excited to be checking out the demo for here today as part of the Steam Next Fest. It seems really unique, so in we're going to go to see what it's all about. Hey there, rise and shine. You're out like a light. You were ready to step back up to the plate? To me, when I awake, you haven't forgotten what we came here to do, have you? Remember, well, we're here to defeat the devil. That alone is the mission charged to us. Send your heroes forth and repel the evil horde. Defeat the evil hidden deep within the grim grimoire, the malefic portent. Thus have we been entrusted. Loyal minions stand by your side. A powerful sense of imagination hides behind their taciturn facade. Okay. Give them a path to express said imagination and allies, those we call heroes, will flock to your aid. Were you to forget how to forge this path, let us note, let this note be your guide. Begin the tutorial. Okay. Your quest is to defeat the malefic portent dwelling within the Grim Grimoire. To traverse its pages, you must call upon the aid of the heroes that you that your create on your scroll, okay? Borrow the strength of your minions to draw up heroes, allies that you can send into the tome. WASD to move. Change with scroll. Okay. Prepare for the enemy assault and mass produce some heroes. Start by producing the first hero in your roster, the units. Select a canvas. It lets you combine two motifs to produce heroes. Or to rotate. Place it facing left. Now open the hero tree to check out your unit recipe. In the hero tree, you can check what materials you need to produce heroes. A unit requires circles and triangles to make. And when you're done, press X to close. Holy moly. Circles and triangles are called motifs, which can be obtained by placing makers on the sources and the resource with a speech bubble attached. The resource with a speech bubble attached. Okay. Okay, so this makes circles, this makes triangles. Gotcha. Get your hands on some circle. Try using the motif maker from the palette. Place it next to the apple. Your minion will now draw the circle for you. Now then, time to transport it with a conveyor belt. Okay, pop it down here. Cool. Same thing for, for this. And then what? This goes here. Now you can produce your units on your canvas. Lastly, send it to the portal. Cool. We're doing it. That is adorable. Heroes have been transported to the portal. Will be teleported into the Grim Grimoire. Check it out for yourself. Okay. Now you can send units into the Grim Grimoire. Humans attack the closest enemy to them. Each hero has their own action to take. Combine the unique skills to turn the tide of battle in your favor. Okay. Camera controls. Place conveyor belt. Is it just telling me flip horizontally with T? I think it's just giving me a refresher. Yeah, it seems just like a nice visual of what we already know. Try producing a set of units. We need to connect a circle to your canvas, but the conveyor belt's getting in the way. Times like these call for a bridge conveyor. Just go underneath. Is that, is that the idea? Seems like it. Finally, use all the knowledge you've gleaned up to now to place all the equipment you need. So this goes down there. We need another one of them. Them. Congratulations, you successfully dispatched a good number of heroes. In the meantime, looks like the enemy's on the approach. They'll start their attack when a counter reaches zero. Time's finally come to show off the might of the heroes you produce. Face them head on. Okay. Let's go, squad. So this is getting caught up. Is that something we could really even do anything about right now? You can attack enemies with a click of your mouse. Won't let me do it behind the... Okay. Until you get the swing of things, keep on clicking to help out your heroes. All right. I like that we get a little bit of something, something to do, too. So they're all just kind of, like, being sent to run towards the enemies. Can one handle one? Seems like it's a one-for-one -one trade. Oh, what the heck? Oh, you can keep clicking until you hit. 
Oh, that's kind of nice. It only uses the cooldown if you actually damage an enemy. Is there the ability to hit AoE? Can I hit two with the same attack, maybe? Advanced conveyor belt controls. This is a memory of a past battle. Your conveyor belts are a real mess. So much wasted space. Equipment... Oh, don't worry. It's a, it's a memory of the future, too. Equipment does not grow on trees, you know. Efficiency is key to victory here. Conveyor belts are not connected properly. They're not connected to anything. They'll have this or that marked on them. Drag items you want to connect in the direction you want to go. That should get things back on track. So we get a conveyor belt, and then we what? We just... Just fix up this mess. Okay. Your heroes have started flowing down the line properly. Watch how they're doing for a minute. We've got a lot more triangles than anything else. Why are we so much more efficient with triangles? Huh? What's that about? Heroes are flowing properly down the line. Still looks like your minions are in a fix. The conveyor belt's all jammed up, making it take more time for them to draw heroes. Jammed conveyor belts cannot produce at their full capacity. Divide the conveyor belt and use the extra triangles to produce another lane of units. Okay. Gotcha. Combine that in here. Make another one. Trouble placing conveyor belts. Anything new? We have the joiner. This equipment is available to use from the start. Try opening the blip tab in your inventory. Okay. The shield bearer spawns around the gate, repelling heroes. What the heck? Okay. Try producing a high level heroes called shield bearers. First, get your hands on the recipe. I've done it. They need units and squares. So, can we just go boop, 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 boop? And then what? Oh, I hate that. I just want to make it look better. Looks like we get... Oh, no, let me clean this up! Shield bearers can now be dispatched. Take a look at what they do. Let me delete this. I know it doesn't matter to the tutorial, but let me. A hero ability has been triggered. Upgrading heroes lets you activate abilities depending on the number produced. The number you need varies for different heroes. Make some top tier heroes, mass produce some regular ones, and control the tide of battle. Let me delete this, please. Produce a certain amount of heroes to trigger hero abilities. The number produced resets every wave. Events along your incursion route will allow you to upgrade the heroes in your roster. Upgraded heroes can trigger hero abilities in accordance with their star level. Okay, so they just they chill in a circle here. Okay. Go. I mean, it's nice that, yeah, it's nice to have any kind of little interaction here. These guys are handy. I wonder if we could just not engage and they would be fine. I don't know. Can we hit two? Maybe? Doesn't seem like it. All right. Time needed. About five minutes. End of, okay, last one. Getting to the swing of things. Right, time for the final stretch. Try dispatching ten mages. Let's see. Three minutes should be more than enough. If you can get it done in 90 seconds, well, you might have some memory of this stuff after all. Okay. So, uh, unit and triangle. Any recipes you've obtained will reset at the start of every incursion, a.k.a. every run. Focus on those that are the best fit for your current run. Mages are made by adding triangles to units. Placing equipment will cost gems. They replenish over time. If you find yourself running out, I suggest placing things a little bit better. Okay. <laughs> if you find problems, do better. Target time, three minutes. Best time, a minute 30. Okay. Shift to draw a straight conveyor belt. Q to copy selected equipment. Well, first things first, we know we need this garbons. Okay. Can we then 
we want to divide this to make another uh, another one here, right? We need 150. Am I wrong? What am I waiting on? I'm waiting on just getting the extra... There we go. Conveyor? 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 Oh, what? We doing it? Can we produce extra stuff here or what? So, we need to make 10. I mean, I think we, we've already done everything we needed to do. Like, it, making another divider at this point probably wouldn't even help. We have so many... We have an excess of circles, but we don't have... An, I would not say that we have an excess of triangles just due to the fact that it's not gl glowing red. Clear time, a minute 17. Get wrecked. Let's go. The gate is your only way forward. Once it's destroyed, you're done for. Protect it at all costs. So the mages do kind of like a little AoE zapping. What if there's a way to upgrade your uh, your your clicky clicky? I also I have I actually at no point do I know if there's meta progress. I don't know if this is one of those or not. I actually didn't look into that. Okay. <laughs> we don't need we don't need units. I'm trying to just kill steel just to just because I can. It's all I have to teach you. Best of luck in your endeavors ahead. Start incursion. Minion master. Okay. Let's obtain warrior recipes. Works well with minions using equipment to upgrade them and enlisting special minions. We can only make the original guys. What's free control mode? Install equipment while paused. Ooh. Using this mode after reach a certain ascension level prevents some achievements from unlocking. So you can use this on Ascension Zero and still get all non-Ascension related achievements. That's nice. I'll play with the standard mode so I can get properly mind flooded and mess up like the game intends. Okay. Spooky. Your goal is to defeat the Malefic Portent lurking within the pages of the Grim Grimoire. I've heard, I've heard that before. First, select your route of incursion. So we go through the research tree or what? Acquire new research trees to unlock new equipment and attachments. Obtaining research trees grants access to all sorts of equipment. Make good use of them to make your production line into a well-oiled machine. Research points are required for research and development. Okay. Place more minions on equipment they work on. Then, okay, select a minion, then choose the equipment to place them. Okay. Interesting. Grants access to equipment that lets you toggle the direction of two conveyor, conveyor belts for easier directions. I'll go with this. Seems more straightforward for now, but not sure. Conveyor belts. Time waits for no one, but feel free to press space. I think to, like, get a lay of the land makes some good sense. So let's see. Circles and triangles. We can't make wizards. Yeah, we can't make wizards, and we can't make the knights. So it is just circles, triangles. We got paint here. It's just going to be circles and then triangles into, into that. Controls, guides on tab. Oh, my lord. All right. We ready? Let's do it. Okay. Go ahead and slap in. Which one is this? Oh, my lord. I mean, sure. Works fine for now. And is it getting red? It is getting red. So, okay. Can I... What was it saying? Like, I can get more minions on this? 
Help under the field guide. But I need research points for it, it said. Okay. Is that down here? That is down here. Let's you place minions on equipment to increase production speed. But I don't have it yet. I still will need to purchase it, it looks like. Okay. Well, as of right now, it's like it's getting a little bit blocked, but should we bother splitting off and trying to make a second one here? Does that make any sense? I can try. Oh, but it's just gonna... There's no point, basically. Right? The amount of stuff required is, is so high. I mean, we might as well give it a go. Yeah. I mean, we can start setting this up for later. We could have run a splitter. Like, how much... How much would that really do for us, though? You know? They're, they're getting caught up, but if I split it in half... I feel like we bottle... Like, we bottleneck. Then we start waiting for supplies, right? We need 150 for this guy. It's, it's expansive. Can we speed it? We can. Four, okay. We got that 50 there. <laughs> Trying. Yep. There we go. All right. We're producing a hell of a lot. Am I mistaken? We we have no we have nothing else we can do yet, right? We only can can only craft the one type of hero, and we've got double duty going on. This is a little bit of a waste of space. I feel like I could um. I feel like I could use that a little bit more efficiently, like move this over a little bit. But I'm wondering, do we get full refunds back or not? It's irrelevant for now. Touching it at all right now just messes up the speed of stuff a little bit okay get wrecked i wouldn't be surprised if you can actually handle the first wave almost completely with mouse clicks or even literally with just mouse clicks but yeah we've not needed a we've not needed one of our heroes yet ooh here we go we can get a double. What? They're blinking out of existence. They weren't getting hit, but they were just disappearing. What am I missing there? Why are they just blinking out of existence? Are we at a cap? We've done it. Okay, we get a hero recipe, and then we move up to just a, another fight, presumably. We could go for an elite. Oh, there's science over there. Obtain new hero recipes and upgrade the one... Upgrade recipes to unlock the true power of your heroes. Top tier heroes may be extremely powerful, but you'll want to upgrade your existing heroes as well. Production abilities triggered by these upgrades could turn an entire battle around. Unlock the unit's one star level. Can I look at my, um... Can I look at my map? I, I don't really want to exit out. Okay, you can unlock equipment with bleep research. Shield bearer seems nice. Like, just being able to upgrade the, the hell out of this. So what? If we get to 240... If we get to 240, then they get two extra HP. Seems quite relevant, but... I mean, sure. We, we have a really nice thing set up for just producing a hell of a lot of them. We'll do that for now. Level up. We got an extra one of those. Circle output up. Increase the speed of gems or acquire two... Ooh. Interesting. Interesting. I could go for... Um, 
Mm. What's the most... What's going to be the most bottlenecked? I, I think that we could just go for more gem speed. It's going to help us no matter what. Okay. So did, when we got this, did we get it? We get it for free? Let's you place minions on equipment. Use to place an additional minions at production... Okay. These are the same thing. Obtain three minions. Okay. Cut these motifs into those. Let's you mix inks. I mean, I think we're good on that right now. Okay, so we are... What the hell is this? Okay. So we have plenty of resources here. I kind of want to, like, for the sake of it, oops, uh, fix this up. Uh, bep, bep, bep. Okay, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. This is silly. It's unnecessary, but it's, it is necessary to me. Okay. Okay. There we go. It just looks it just looks better. Okay? Screw screw uh screw me. It just looks better. <laughs> okay, so we could go for an entire extra line here if we wanted. And I think I do, because like basically that's what we're good at for the time being. Oh, it can't go that far. Oh, Oh. Okay, I did not realize there was a cap there. Okay, so how do I want to handle this then? Shoot. That messes things up. The fact that there is a a, a cap limit. Maybe I don't want it here. Maybe I want it over over there. I don't love the way it looks, but it's not the only thing that matters. All right. Nope. Okay. That's fine. Just a whole extra freaking guy. There we go. Still meh. But there we go. We got an overflow abundance of these. And we don't have any more. We can't do any more. Looking to borrow some time. You can use the time expansion to stretch out the seconds. Go on, give it a try. Time. Oh, wait. They replenish over time. They refill pretty quickly. So don't hesitate to use it. Press V again to come out of time expansion mode. All right. So, I mean, we can't do anything else, right? Like, we literally can't do anything else. They're, they're barely, barely hitting the red. So, I don't think we want to use splitters right now. Well, okay. If I increase the, the efficiency, how do I get extra units on these? Like it was saying. Great. How do I do that? Oh, there we go. But what do I what do I want? Oh, we want to increase the productivity here. There. That's how we want to do it. That that could in theory speed things up. That should maybe make it so pretty soon we won't be at capacity. Yeah, look at that. No more red at all. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, it's beautiful. Or oh, are we going to hit 240? I think we're going to hit 240 with the, uh, the extra efficiency up. We're out of extra minions. I didn't realize it was it's in its own category. That makes sense. I was thinking we had to like click these and add it because I thought I thought that's what it said. Ooh. We've done it. We've we've done it. How to trigger hero abilities. We could do this. 
or we can also yeah so we got that ability if we didn't upgrade it before nice uh ba 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 I mean we could go for let's see it, a circle circle output it, it doesn't matter too much i mean if we get extra ones here we could just get the efficiency of having more characters going we don't need the gem increase speed right now but i think just like a standard circle up why not it's not going to be too helpful yet it's just going to overflow us on circles but if we get more workers then maybe we can uh can fix that up we're still gonna be bottlenecked on triangles after that anyways so these are all upgraded with more hp i don't think i need this stuff yet produce heroes with three types of materials huh all right well hopefully we get another recipe on the map here So an extra 2 HP means that all of my heroes can run into the enemies and they can survive for a second tussle. So that's actually quite good. Anywhere we can get a double, we go for a double. Bop, 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 bop. All right. Wave clear. I've done it. Okay. Uh, a, a crystal upgrade of some sort? Mana? I don't know. I do want to fight an elite, kind of, but... Not really, because I, I want to get another recipe. Alright. Oh, man. We need 480 to unlock an attack upgrade. Horse. So we don't have the scissors, so we can't do that yet. So I guess we're going for mage. Okay. Or oh, we can also re-roll for 10 coins. I don't have 10 coins. But yeah, like, we're not going to get to 480, I, I don't think. I mean, we have the worker upgrades, but let's get the mages. And let's, uh, we'll, we'll pause to figure this out. So, oh man, I wish we went for the extra triangle ups. Okay, but we'll, we'll know. Do we really want to split our triangles up? We can put an extra worker on the triangle producer, right? No, you can't. Okay. So, how do we want to handle this? Let me let me pause and think about this. I'm going to think. All right. Well, I mean, I'm pretty sure we just throw a splitter down here. We could we could put it anywhere. It shouldn't matter that it's really close, right? And I think we'll um I think we'll just have this be yeah, we'll, we'll have this be our wizard station. I think that's fine. Okay, where, where's uh, where's the bottleneck? The bottleneck's up here. I mean, the bottleneck's just in the circles. We just we have more than we need, and the the wizard situation here is not gonna make that any better. I don't know if we're gonna hit the cap we need here. I can't put any more workers on here. Yeah. So we, we have an overflow of of workers. Okay. Uh these are this is an overabundance of just actual dudes here. So what we should do is move this for a sec. 
Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Let me just... Okay. We move it up one... We get a splitter. Oh, God. This is a little bit goofy. But I think if we put the splitter here... All right. Uh, pop that. That should work completely fine. And then we should be making, hopefully, a good amount of both anyways. But stream overabundance of, like, just a half a split of... Thank you. Half a split of, um... The triangles is still too much here. Are we... Things going fine? Yeah, we have an over... Way too many... I mean, what's it, what it going to matter? We're not going to hit the two... We are going to hit the 240. All divider and joiner speed up 50%. I think if, at this point, I think we do that. We could get the scissors so we could go for the horses, but... Let's you add more minions. We could also store two so that we could improve the speed more because we have the excess minions already, but we don't have anything to do with it. How much is being really limited by my dividers? Very, very little. There's absolutely no bottleneck on dividers. But with all this extra production, we could probably... Uh, we could probably split off an entire... Like, section from these triangles and these circles to make another... Uh, base unit section. So, like, maybe that's something we should look into. We, we ended up making enough for regular heroes, which is nice. We could split off and make, like, a whole extra... I don't know. We don't, we don't want to trim too much off the top of the base characters because those are the ones that we do have upgrades for right now. The wizards give us double the experience. Yeah, that's, that's just going to be glowing for a bit. I'm aware. Nice. Ooh. Scary man, scary man. Maybe we prioritize those? God, I wish it wasn't blinking after I've already checked it. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. No joke, no joke, no joke. The big boys... We do 10 damage with our attack here. Some might make it through. I would love some uh, some warriors. Okay, so even though we made that many more heroes and they are boosted, the wizards are, in fact... I, I'd say... Holding their own. They're, they're half as effective, even though we produce, like, so many less. We really have to keep that in mind. So, like, it's a it's an important jump. So, I could get extra... The other option is I just get extra research so that we can go for um, extra minion placement and just create... We can just create more. You know, just... That is an efficiency upgrade. Or we could get this and set up a whole new line... Which is something that maybe we should do. But I think that this is so clear. Oh, wait. We even got... Oh. We got even more research. Hold up. All right. Go for it. Get new dude. Okay. So those are doubled up. I wonder... We might just end up not bottlenecking anymore already. But is it... It might be worth... I think it's probably going to be worth splitting off it and making a whole new divider here. Is that fine? Yeah, it's fine. Oh, God. What is this trash? This is degenerate. Uh. Okay, hold up, hold up, hold up. 
So we can then we get the splitter. Ah! Jump scare. <laughs> I think we might want like a triangle efficiency up. I think that's probably acceptable. Nope, oh, nope, 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 nope. What the hell? There we go. More wizard. More wizard make. I hate this. You know what I'm gonna do? Just for just to fill up the space. Just to fill up the space. Feels nice. Doesn't do it doesn't do anything. It just it looks Oh, except it's going to yell at me because it's like, oh, this isn't doing anything. I know. The time expansion skill has been built up to maximum. Bada bing, bada boom. There we go. Could get more workers. We still have two. Yeah. This is, this is way too clumped up. Like, in the future, it might be bad. What is... So what's going on here? We... Do we care about that? I would say... I don't think I'm really being bottlenecked by the joiner, am I? Maybe I am. May, maybe I am, actually. By the, by the divider. We'll see. It is pushing them through a lot faster. But we have... Okay. Yeah, we're, we're chilling. Are we going to make it to um, bonus wizards? Plus, would that even matter? Because can we get the effect even if we don't have the boost? I'm not sure. We have so many gems and I don't know what to freaking do with it. Because these bottlenecks are so minor. They're, they're not extreme bottlenecks. Okay, yeah, we did get to the... We absolutely want the wizard upgrade. Hell, we're almost at the ability to get the, uh, the units up to tier 2, too. Music win. Even the middle... Wait, in the middle... Oh. Taking care of your production line is a risky proposition during battle. Until things reach an equilibrium, I suggest you join the battle. Okay, that's that's very cool. You can just go absolutely so ham on just the factory phase. I need help though. Like I I want I want the warriors. I feel like that would fill a, a very nice gap right now. Okay. Help. Cool. But yeah, maybe even just like a just a straight up wizard upgrade. Oh, we got a, a research up. I'm gonna want blueprints. Access to mini dividers and joiners makes them easier to place. Ooh. Access to the motif converter. They consume two materials, converting them into the motif of your choice. I don't... I don't know. I mean, I could take that and then I could take my squares and turn them into triangles. But, like, is that that helpful for us right now? I'll go with this, but I, I rather would have uh, gotten just another upgrade. The standard upgrade. Small joiner. Well, what? Why would I? Why would I care about that right now? Hmm. How do I? How do I make this more efficient right now? I don't know how to make this particularly more efficient. What is this? Does this change anything for me, really? 
Is that just so that I can, like, play around quicker? Like, like I can do the building without doing any kind of, like, cheese, I guess? I'm afraid to hit the X button, you know? Uh, looks like, if anything, I could go for a triangle upgrade, but... Maybe that's the thing. Maybe maybe these are bottlenecked just because they're waiting for triangles? I assume probably not. Oh, wow. Oh, 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 I see, I see. It's a whole, like, when you say a, a, a tree upgrade, you're talking a whole freaking tree upgrade. I can't get another... Yeah, I could get more minions. Minus gem consumption rate for all equipment that is unlocked in the tree. In this research tree. Divides items evenly. I mean, that's it's really cute. That is very handy. I don't know what I really, if I really care that. I think that the only thing, since we don't have anywhere else to put the, the workers, right? No, I'd have to. Yeah, meh. It's this divider. I also want to see if I can like, kind of want to see if I can use this divider though. Do I care about it that much? Not necessarily. I mean, it looks better. Does that really matter? Not much. Yeah? I mean, cool. Hip hip hooray. <laughs> I'm sure there will be a time where that really matters. I can't say that it's now. We have are we using a splitter up here? We're not using a splitter up there. I haven't really made it I haven't made any changes right now though, is the thing. I hate this. I haven't made any changes, so that has me a little bit concerned. Like, sure, I can just do the same thing again. Is What would I do? What would I do? Th these are being bottlenecked. I would, I'd have to split them. And I don't know if that would really be that good. We'd have to, like, do a weird thing where we split it here and then, like, do a little bit of a loop and then jump over this and then put it up there. No, no, we'd have to do it down here. Like, I mean, I guess, correction, I have changed things. I have used these minis, the mini splitters instead, I suppose. But, like, okay. But, yeah, I... I'm trying to figure out... I mean, I, I put it all... Like, the thing is, I was trying to be very efficient with my space. But it does mean that it's really tough to go ahead and change anything now. Because, like, I would need to split this off somewhere... Because this is the only one that's being bottlenecked. And I think it's just because it's so close. Is it just because it's so close there? Well, it's just because it's, it's the only one that has an unbridled access of just purely circles and purely triangles. I think that that's pretty much just it. I mean, we get experience out the wazoo here. Maybe we will be fine. We have so many of everything. <laughs> you know? Maybe we'll just be fine. I'm going to need a new recipe or something if I want to make any kind of major changes. Oh, big scary man. We don't have good single target. Like, we have the wizards, which are the AoE boyos. The fact that this guy's still tanking is not good. I think we're going to take damage here for sure. 
Which is not surprising. I, I kind of started to feel like I wasn't making any more efficient changes. So it's not surprising in the slightest that I bottlenecked there. But hopefully I'll get a recipe and I'll know what to change. Because right now we just had, like, it's more. <laughs> Explodo. This looks like maybe the boss. It's going to be the same either way. All right. Wow me. Horse, mage star up. Uh. Oof. Okay. We would need the scissors in order to make this. And I don't have the scissors yet, and I don't have a research thing. So I think that what we do is we just get the mage upgrade, but that's just a, it's an area of effect upgrade. We need the scissors for both of these. I guess the answer is we just should have gotten the scissors earlier, huh? Alternatively, we could go for a reroll and try and find uh, the warrior, the shield bearers. I think that's probably the answer, right? I think that's the answer. Okay, so that's gonna... We're gonna need to do some real thinking now. Okay. Alright, I got a plan. Um, hold on. Okay, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Splitter. Yep, yep. Okay. Ay, ay. Wait, is this a, is this a splitter off of a splitter though? Do we have okay, where I don't think we want to do there. I don't I don't think we want to do it there. I think we want to split off of this one. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, we messed it up here. Let me let me let me think. Yeah, I think we want to do this one in a uh, just a roundabout way so that we can split this one off. We can split this one off. Well, we'll... Okay. Cool. Ish, coolish. And then we go ahead and create Yeah, not right now. <laughs> um What are we both bottlenecked by? I mean, I could just What I want is more resources on the the fruit things. I feel like that would be the most useful here. I don't know that we're going to need an increase to our square output currently. It looks like our triangle output is the thing most able to uh, to be improved. Ugh. Okay, hold up. Oh, I hate this. What am I doing? I want to use the space efficiently is the thing. Okay, so we're making warriors there. Are they bottling? Boy, are they ever. Okay, we'll create double workers there. We don't have enough workers for that. Uh, conveyor belt that can transport objects in a cross. Oh, that's actually really cool. Uh, I don't think I go for it for the time being. Can we just pop a little bit more there? Yeah, this is, these are getting bottlenecked something fierce. S 
Okay, hold up, hold up, hold up. We pop those here. Uh, we can make just a whole nother section. Maybe that'll work. I mean, it'll work. There we go. Making twice as many, but now what's going on here? Now these are bottlenecked like crazy. I guess the... We just had a backup from over there. Yeah, we don't really have enough to facilitate two of these going at the same time. What we would need is more... More workers. Uh... Yeah, we, we needed to, what we would do is create an extra one of these somewhere. We're not going to do that in 30 seconds. Like, we should be pressing that. But yeah, we're not going to make a whole nother thing and have it make a difference in 30 seconds. But at some point, we needed to retool this to sneak an extra split out of this one. But like, the question is, is how do we do it with what we did without like a full retool and the answer is not very well so i think we just accept that we have a pretty good amount of everything else that we already had going on we really don't need this but we now also have some uh some warriors boss battle i do i do think we'll probably get toasted here oh boy bomb Oh, Lord. He's making it in. Does he at least, like, go back out or something? He does. Okay, this guy's... Oh, we're, we're dead. We're dead as hell, man. Okay. No reason to go fast here. We had, like, a really good section of our starting guys right away. The Warriors are vibing now. Oh, bum boy. It won't let me attack him. Was he invincible there? Our standard little guys are not doing their job. Okay. Yeah, I think things got wasted by it. Uh, I think we should have just kept more of the standards. Wait, that's enough? Oh, we don't have to kill him? Oh, thank God. But yeah. Uh, I think making such a big change and like, I knew it was inefficient as we were doing it. You know, like the setting, setting up the warriors. I think I just got baited by seeing the fact that there, there was a backup in the you know, the base units that were making the soldiers. We didn't have enough product to split that off into two. It would have just been more efficient. Uh, it probably also would have been just more efficient just to have only the standard heroes. Um, I don't know. The question being like, well, we won. So it's like, it's fine. But do we get healed or what's up? Let's do expand the area of your scroll and remove clay deposits. Access to high level motif makers, which spit out motifs at a speedy clip. Placement of powerful elite minions instead of normal ones. I mean, that's cool. I feel like this is probably what we care more about. Is there more in the demo? Wow, they let you go even further in the demo? I mean, like, I, I obviously lose right after that. Uh, but, you know, really, really neat. I definitely, you can do this way more efficiently than this. It's not even close. I know, I've been screaming into my screen that you didn't. Okay, Doki, go play it yourself, buddy. Uh, but it's really fun. I like it a lot. Uh, I don't play a lot of factory builder games, as you have already noticed, I'm sure. Uh, but I think this take on it has me interested enough where I would try and learn about, you know, being more efficient with it. Because what I care most about, and it's stupid, is the way something, you know, like, I like the I like to lay it out in a way that uses up all the space and looks, you know, looks pleasing to me. And that's not even something that would be pleasing to everybody else, too. So it's kind of just like... I like this. Um, but obviously, you know, the 
the red makes it very clear where our hangups are. Um, again, like this right here, it was producing us a lot of these standard guys, which is really helpful. Um, we could have like flipped, we could have flipped this one down here and then split this one off. I don't know. Yeah, there, there's a couple things we could have done, obviously. Uh, but hey, it's really, really cool. I like this one a hell of a lot. Uh, it is Shape Hero Factory. Go play it for yourself and uh, succeed where I have hath failed. Whether or not there's a meta progression or something, I don't know. My assumption is actually no. I don't see anything here, which I, uh, I do appreciate for a game like this, uh, personally. But others may feel different. Alas, alas, there's a link at the top of the description. If you want to check out the demo for yourself. My name is Retromation. I cover indie games every single day with an extra specialty in roguelikes and roguelites. If that is something you're into, this is a channel that you should be subscribed to. Thank you, thank you, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.